Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can set up a free blog at wordpress.com. So first of all you just need to go on your favourite web browser and go to wordpress.com. If you haven't got an account with WordPress already the first thing that you'll need to do is sign up. So click the orange get started button and I'm going to imagine that I'm setting up um, a blog for my WI so I'm going to put in the email address and it will already it will give you a, a username which you can change to something else if you want but I'm going to leave it at that um, and then it will ask you for a password so I'm going to choose a password Okay. Um, now it's asking you if you want a free account or whether you want to upgrade to um, a paid account. It's best off to just start with a free account and see how you go. You can always upgrade later. So if you go down to the bottom, underneath the free section, it'll say create blog and you want to press that and hopefully it'll get set up. So now it's going to send you an email um, and what you need to do is to go to your email um, and click the link to finish registering on the WordPress site. So I'm going to hop over to my email and hope that the email turns up. There it is. So I've been sent an email saying activate your account. So I'm just going to open the email and click the button that says activate blog. And hopefully any minute now, here we are, I'm at wordpress.com and this is my new blog and it will actually talk you through how to set up your blog so you could call it um, something imaginative. I, this is just a, a test blog so I'm just going to call it YIWY blog. Um, and then you can come up with a little um, tagline so just explain what your blog's about. So a blog about why. WI. Obviously, you're going to be much more creative than this. Um, if you want to blog in English, that's fine. Just leave that as it is and click Next Step. Then you'll need to choose a theme, and there are quite a lot of um, themes that other people have created uh, that you can use for free. Um, so you can have a scroll through, see what tickles you fancy. Um, you can. Uh, there are loads and loads to choose from, and you can change it at any point. So if you pick a theme and then decide you wanted something different. Um, you can change it at a later date. So I'm going to pick, um, I'll just pick a minimum, oh no, that's a that's a paid one. You can see the, the ones with a, um, a price on the bottom there, obviously you have to pay for, but there are plenty of free ones. So I'm going to pick this, 2012. It'll tell you a bit more about the theme um, and you can have a look at it a bit closer up and think, okay, that looks nice. I'll go for that. So I'll click next step. And then it'll ask you if you want to create your first post. Um, I'm actually going to finish because I want to show you how to create a post from scratch. So I'm just going to press finish. And here's your dashboard. So it's just telling you that new posts are going to appear here in the reader stream below. And you'll also see posts from other blogs that you're following. So you can use your WordPress account to follow other blogs that you're interested in. So that's all well and good. Thanks very much. OK, so if you want to write a new post, you just simply go over here to where it says new post, click on that. And you'll be able to um, pick the type of post that you want. So let's just start with a text post to start with. Um, let's call it hello and welcome to our new blog. We're uh, WI in Newcastle. I mean, I'm just writing any old thing here. Um, now you can either save that as a draft for later or you can publish the post now. And of course you can insert photos and links and all that kind of thing. You can also tag your post with keywords to help people understand a bit more about what's in the post. So um, membership, there we are. I'm going to publish that post straight away um, so that you can see what it looks like on the blog. So it's just doing it now. There we are, it's letting me know that my post published. And what I'd like to do is see what it looks like on the blog. So I'm going to press view post. 
and here's our blog. So you can see the information that we entered earlier, there's the title of the blog, and this is the little strap line that it asked us for. Um, you can change those at any point, so it doesn't matter if you don't get them right first time. All our blog posts will then appear here. So this is the title of the most recent post that I've just um, completed. Um, and this is the, the content of the post. So this is what I, I wrote just now, explaining that we're a WI in Newcastle. And there are various options for people to be able to share this on um, social media and that kind of thing. So that's generally what a post looks like. Um, if we go back to the dashboard, this is where we can really see an overview of, of everything that's on our blog. So you can see here we've got one post and one page and one category and one tag at the moment. So not an awful lot. If you want to have an overview of the posts that you've got on your blog, then if you go into this section that says posts, you'll see a list of all your posts with the most recent first. So this is the one that we just published one minute ago. And from here you can add a new post if you wish. Um, or you could edit a previously published post. So if I wanted to add a little bit more to this one, I could click into there and I could um, put something like we meet at Davos Hall in wide open. Okay, so if I wanted to update that post now, I'll go over here and click the update button and it will now add that text to the post that I previously published. If you want to view the blog at any time, you go up here and just click the title of the blog and it will show you. So now you can see that that updated text has appeared on the live blog. This is the blog as other people will see it. So let's go back to WordPress. Um, Let's do it this way. Um, go back to dashboard. There we go. Okay, so this is the the place where you can kind of manage the the back end of your blog, as it were. Um, so along with posts, there's also um, what what are called pages, which are more for static pages on your blog so for instance if you wanted to give a little bit more information about yourself and that's a piece of text that you, you want to be there um, no matter what so for instance let's open um, let's open the blog in a new window here we are this is a post and if I were to post another um, blog post it would appear above this on the same page but you can see there are actually two pages on the blog. So this about is a is a new page. Um, you can see here at WordPress has, has helpfully put a bit of text on here to explain what a page is. So unlike posts, which are displayed on your blog's front page in the order they're published, pages are better suited for more timeless content that you want to be easily accessible, like your about or your contact information and that kind of thing. So. If I go back to our dashboard, we can actually edit that about page. You can see there's a pages section at the side here. So if I click on that, and if I click about, at the moment this page has got the dummy text in that WordPress put on there. But I could actually delete that and put YIWI are part of the, uh, I'll put the Northumberland Federation. Northumberland Federation. We have 35 members and we enjoy a varied programme of activities. Okay, that'll do. So if I update that now, hopefully that'll change the text on the live blog. So if I go over to look at the live blog now, and I refresh it, you can see that the text has now changed to the text that I've just entered. Um, and you could have any number of pages, so you could have a contact details page as well. Um, so if I go back to the dashboard and click pages, we could add a new page. And I could call this contact. And I could put um, email us on 
yiwi at hotmail.co.uk. There we are. And I could even make that into a into a link. So if I copy that and link it, uh, mail to, there we are. So now if I publish that page, and I go back to our live blog and refresh, hopefully a contact page should appear, and it has. So if we click on contact now, you can see that what I've just written has turned up there. So you can have numerous different pages. Um, it, it's probably a good idea to, to, to keep that fairly minimal and just use, just use your pages for content that isn't going to change, uh, that gives kind of basic information about um, about your group or about your activities or whatever it is and then the home page can have your blog posts on it which is it's really like a um, it's like rolling news and it's all dated so this one has uh, this latest blog post obviously has been made in August 2013 um, as your blog progresses you'll get more months um, turning up here August September October etc whenever you post a new blog post so let's go back to the dashboard so that's how to add um, posts and pages and hopefully giving you a bit of insight into the difference between the two. So I might add another post um, and actually add something a little bit more um, creative to this one. So you can add a new post at the top there. Um, and in fact, I'll actually go to the YI website and get something let's, let's uh, take that picture and add that so treasure hunt oops here is a picture of us on a treasure hunt there we are so now if you go to the add media button we can actually add a picture now at the moment we don't have any pictures on here because it's a new account, it's a new blog, we haven't uploaded anything yet. Um, so you can upload your files by clicking select files and that's the picture that we just had, just downloaded. See it's uploaded now and we can um, give it a caption, treasure hunt in Newcastle. Uh, alternative text group of smiling people okay and I'll insert that into the post so you can see there that picture has popped up in the post if you want to see what your post looks like before you um, make it live so before you actually publish it to your blog you can click preview and it'll open up a preview window and you can just check that everything looks as you want it to that looks rather nice Okay, so I'm happy with that, so I'm just going to go ahead and publish it. And then once that's, once that's done, I'll go back to our blog. And if I click home, there we are, it's refreshed it. So you can see um, the treasure hunt is now the most recent thing that we've posted. But you can see that below that is the first post that we that we put up there. So posts appear um, in chronological order with the most recent first, and they'll just appear in a long list on the same page. Um, so that's really how you get started blogging. Now WordPress is an incredibly powerful tool. Um, it's got all sorts of things that you can do. Um, I'm just going to go back to the dashboard here. I mean, there are there are hundreds of different settings. You can you can um, bring in Twitter and Facebook. You can have all sorts of widgets on there. You can customize your themes. There are so many different things that you can do. Um, you can schedule blog posts so that they appear uh, at a later date and that kind of thing. You can allow people to comment on your blog. Um, so that you can get a bit of a discussion going. There's, there's absolutely loads that you can do, far more than I can show you in this tutorial, but I hope what I have shown is that it's really quick and really easy to set up a blog with WordPress. And um, as always, 
uh, we can help you at Teach Me Tech if you want to learn any more, um, if you want uh, one to one tuition so that you can go at your own pace and really get to grips with this, then do contact us at teachmetech.co.uk. Thanks for listening.